So to enable all the lights to work, I used this cable. I, dis I just cut it from this end because I don't have a hi-fi where I can plug it into. So I'll explain the theory, then I'll show you practically how it works. So I'll just draw the lines here. So the red cable here, according to my diagram, is connected to the 12 volts line from the amplifier. The black cable, the bottom one, I've connected it to the ground or zero volts line. So the first black cable, the second one here, is what makes the white lights to work. So this is for the Twitter. This is the Twitter line. And the other one works with the base line. So if I connect this cable, the other one, directly to the Twitter line on my base line, it will work. But since I don't want any back voltage, I'll connect what is known as a capacitor. So you just... I'll use a capacitor, then connect it to my speaker line. The same with the base. Then I connect to my speaker line. This is for the Twitter, this is for the base. So this is these are the lines I was talking about. So my diagram. The red cable is connected to the positive. This is B+. Plus. The negative cable is connected to the ground. And to explain further how this works, I'll switch on my amplifier. If you've not checked my other video, how I transformed this power supply to a custom home amplifier, check out the top right corner. I'll just switch it on and disconnect the remote cable. When I disconnect the remote cable, the amplifier turns off. Now picture this as the same thing. If I took this remote cable and give it a few taps on this line, the green light here will also work at the same frequency. So imagine now when I use this, that's the same principle actually. This will get voltage from the speaker lines over here and they will make the lights to light to come on and go off at the frequency of the music. So basically disco lights. But I said I can't connect it directly to my speaker lines over here since I don't want to damage my amplifier. So I used these small capacitors. This is 50 volts by 4.7 microfarads so so both capacitors are 4.7 microfarads and 50 volts that's it that's the whole secret so we'll just do it practically over here this this is just a temporary installation when i do it fully and use more permanent solutions so the first if you remember the second black cable no actually the second cable from the red all the first black cable i connect it to my capacitor over here then the other end I'll connect it to my Twitter line over here. This is what I'm using for my Twitter or mid-range speakers. And this is what I use for my base speakers. So essentially my subwoofer. The speaker I'm using is a subwoofer. So I just connect it to my Twitter line. And I do the same to the other side. So the second black cable, or the third wire from the red, I connect it to my other capacitor over here same value as the other one and that's it so let me just connect my remote cable to the amplifier to turn it on
the power supply is off so we say just switch the power supply on we should this, see this green light come on and there we go now to play some music So to show you guys these lights first of all the size of the speaker i have pretty big hands so you see this is a 12 inch subwoofer and the reason why i like this subwoofer if it gets any dust i can just come in here with my cloth and just clean it this is far more advantageous over the speakers that have have a mesh wire over here you can't get in here you can't wipe it so i wanted to show you that these lights work with the volume level so if I increase my volume here, the lights will come on. It gets much brighter as you increase the volume. So this is the CM9540 unit that my speaker came from, this is from LG, it's rated at 2300 watts, RMS, and 29,000 watts, PNPO. It's a CD player but has a lot of features including USB and Bluetooth, and this particular model has 6 speaker ports back at the back, but only 2 speaker units, that includes 2 subwoofer units, and two mid-range units. The surround and front units for either right or left are the same unit. And these are the speaker po speaker lighting system ports that I studied and made ma and made to work at home with my car audio amplifier, which runs at 12 volts. Again, that's the model CM9540. Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true